Yeah. Okay, gonna... part part two of the tripod setup is we're gonna go ahead and set up the the sky hook or basically the boat winch. It's just a regular winch. Um, they call it, I guess, the sky hook. So we're gonna do the same thing. The tripod's already set up, and we're gonna hook this up. So here we go. When we're hooking this up, it just pins in to the outside of the tripod, unlike. So what you do here is you hook it up to the outside of the tripod like these two guys are doing right here. All right. It just pins in here and it's, it's got a little washer. And you can see the way that it's mounted. You always want to mount the um, the pulley towards the top. Let's try that other one. Let's try that other. And you'll see the arrows. Um, so Malcolm moves out of the way here. You'll see the arrows. So, and they just simply screw on like that. You'll see these arrows which guide the rope from the top, these little guys right here, around the winch. The good thing about this winch is it's letting us use the full capability of our tripod. Um, it'll lift more weight, the, uh, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the winch, right. The actual mechanical winch is, is rated at 450 pounds. So what they do is simply just run a um, change of direction pulley up top, buckle it in, and of course we'd have another safety line up in the system, and it would just hook up like that. This part right here, he's gonna run the rope through this, this guide pulley, like that. Excuse me for the shadows. Step over here. It just sits in. Now, it simply, go, it simply goes around the block of the, of the uh the winch and what you want to do yeah is you want to fill up the definitely you want to fill up the winch all the way before you start to lift so you get it totally filled up the drum and then it it has to go around this little guy here like so i don't know if you can see that little thing in there and then it rests in here so you got a full drum hits wrap around this metal thing on the bottom and then it's good and ready to go. And then the lever's hooked up. And there's two speed winch, so when you go, we'll hook up our weight here, or our load. Press it down. We could also opt to put a prusik brake above this little guide pulley there. Now, when he wants to go, it's a two-speed winch, so he goes that way, delivers the same mechanical advantage. Now that way, he's gonna deliver more mechanical advantage, a little bit slower, and he tends the rope a little bit. So he goes quick to get it started, and we're up on lift, and then if it gets too heavy, he can twist it the other way, two-speed winch. Now, when we wanna stow our, stow our pulley here, it's on the this side, it's over there somewhere, you'll see it. You just stow the pulley, in the side so you don't lose it. It just fits right in there. Now when he wants to lower what he does is he unlocks it from the top and the drum and this is mechanical advantage. It just slows it right down. That's his brake right there. That's his friction brake, round turn. And as you can see it's just lowering it. He wants to change directions. He rewraps the, the uh, drum, hits that, and then he goes ahead and he starts, pulls that lever out and he can go ahead and lift. Just like so, and then our weight goes. And that's how to set up the skyhook system with the tripod. And we can use the full capability of the, of the tripod, which is 650 pounds at 550 pounds at full extension.